right to military uh, airports or every, everywhere where the military is, they buy land yeah. around it, you know, yes. in a big, yeah. big tower there that's for the energy, you know, that camera mm-hmm. in there. You know, right, yeah. right. You no, know, can see that's that's what I'm saying. It's uh, it's one day it's uh, just uh, all China, you know, or mm. Russia, because uh, the democracy here yeah, mm. is destroyed by the mark by the Democrats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, do you do you, have you heard of uh, George Solo? This so, person, yeah, of course, not everybody knows George. <laughs> no, not everybody. But uh, what do you think about this guy? Do you think he's behind this whole thing? You know. Try to be, everybody destroy. can be proud. Everybody can be proud. And as George Soros said to uh, that guy in uh, New York, uh, whatever his name uh, is, who uh, went after uh, Trump, you know, mm-hmm. I, uh, we give you $2 million, but you have to make sure that Trump gets in jail. Well, took up $2 million. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, I will do that. You know? And yeah. You can bribe everybody, you know, as so long as it's enough money. Somebody does it for five bucks and somebody does it for five million. It's mm. just, uh, what's your price, you know? It's the same with a woman, you know? I mean, yeah. uh, Stormy Daniels, same thing. What's your price, you know? Yeah, and every ha- woman. And every hush, woman. Hush money. <laughs> hey, yeah, well, hush that, money, that's hush later, money. That's later. I mean, the deed like, was stupid and I had hush money, you know? <laughs> but uh, everybody has this price, you know? And the same with a woman. A woman has mm. her price too, you know. And uh, because no woman does it for free, I can tell you that. Yeah. My, my ex wife, same thing, you know, with Christmas when I, when I was in the flower business, made a lot of money. And mm. then uh, she comes up with her hands, you know, uh, what's for me? What's for me? And uh-huh. you say, well, you have to do something else first, you know. Oh, no, first the money. Then, then <laughs> yeah, I've been there. This is this is back in the what? Everybody. This is back in the eighties or nineties. Yeah, around yeah, that but time. It wasn't in the nineties. Yeah, but, but I'm, tra- I'm trying. I'm trying to say yeah. today, I don't think uh, they can do that anymore. They have to go out to work because every family, two people, sometimes including the kids, have to work now. To in yeah, order yeah. to. The you know the the parents the wife, husband yeah. and wife both have to work in oh. today's yeah economy in today's society yeah. yeah back back then in the eighties or maybe nineties um, you know yeah. one one income is enough yeah 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 but it's actually earlier in the 60s, 70s already 60s, yeah because yeah. the the point was like if you get married the paycheck of a man was enough uh-huh. take care of the woman take care of the kids, and a house payment. But it was right. usually about 25% of your paycheck, you know. Mm. But if it was 26%, they say, you cannot buy the house. And then mm. the woman says, yeah, but I can work two for a day so I can make up for that payment for the house. Hey, good idea. So the woman yeah. starts working one day. And then they have to work two days. And then they have to work three days. Now they have to work every day. In order yeah. to pay the, the rent, because it's not twenty five percent of his paycheck. No, it's fifty percent of each paycheck. So that's mm. four times much. So a house of eight hundred thousand dollars should cost two hundred thousand dollars. But that's the emancipation of the the woman. I can work too. You know, I can work too. Now they have to work, and y- then yeah. they have kids, and they have to bring them to a, a crash. You know, and they, where they have. Uh, Raise children, and that costs money too, you know. So, and uh, it's it's just the uh, opposite, you know. Yeah. So, uh, that was yeah. Uh, and then, uh, right now, people cannot even buy a house. Yeah. And uh, I bought a house in eighty six or eighty seven. You know, my mm. payments were thirteen hundred and thirteen dollars. I never forget. And the house was one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. The same house costs eight hundred now. Mm-hmm. And I don't even know how the payments would be, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah, and I lost it anyway, so uh, it all doesn't matter, you know. So, uh, what? What? Uh, but and and the gas price is going up again yeah, to indeed. almost. I, I I was just at the uh, WeHo last week, and the yeah. gas price there is already above six dollars. Uh, yeah, hey, six forty nine. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. I, uh, when I came here in 1980, uh, the, the fuel was 92 cents. I never 99 remember. cents for me. When Not, I yeah, arrived. Under yes. a dollar. Under a dollar. And yes, I was under a dollar. My thing and I was laughing, you know, in a 20 gallon thing, 20 bucks. <laughs> And I laughed because in the Netherlands it was four times as much. It cost three dollars or three dollars and fifty cents already. And here a dollar, I laughed, you know. But that was in 1980, and yeah, uh, right. then it got yeah. get up. We know all what happened, you know. And then Newsom from California, when the fuel here was three dollars, you know, everywhere it was two dollars, but three dollars in California. Oh, the fuel is so cheap. We put some tax on it. You know, so they put a lot of 30 cents or 40 cents on it. Do you think it's so expensive today? We take the 30 cents off. Well, no, of course, never can. The only race the price that will never get down. But if Trump is back in the White House, drill, 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 baby. You know, drill, drill, drill. everything comes down, food comes down, everything will come down when you have cheap uh, fuel yeah. price. That's yeah. it's all. Depends on, on, on fuel, energy, nothing else. No. It's so simple. Everybody knows that. I don't even have to explain that here. You know, everybody knows that. But he, he, he also put, proposed, I believe this is his last term that he said that. I'm not sure. Maybe you can verify. He, he even want to cut the uh, payroll tax. Have you heard of what that? Payroll Pay, tax? Trump, Trump wants to pay, cut the payroll tax. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, something has to happen, you know. And then we'll say if the fuel is mm -hmm. less expensive. Say we get it back here in, in California, it will never go on $3. But $3, and that will be okay, you know, maybe $2 somewhere else. But then you will see food prices are coming down. Everything will come down slowly yeah. but surely, you know. And if the wages stay the same, yeah, we start gaining. Momentum, mm. you know, but right uh, with Biden, that <laughs> costs more and more and more. It keeps going up, it keeps going up, and they don't care because they have money enough. A millionaire who makes a million dollars a year or five thousand, mm. they don't care if they pay five dollars or six dollars for fuel. It's the guy who go to his boss, you know, mm. who makes fifteen or eighteen dollars an hour. Yeah. He's hurt, yeah, because right. he, he take his friend with him and, and pay half of the gas, you know. And I see it on myself with my social security, all the miles I used to drive go there and there and there. I had to cut my driving down till under seven thousand miles. Usually I drove twelve thousand, you know. I drove sixty-five thousand when I was in the business, but so mm -hmm. twelve thousand is it's normal, you know, but I had to all I had to cut it down all the way till seven thousand because my insurance is a little bit less, mm. and your, your, your fuel consumption is less, and also your garage, yeah, you have less uh, less tires and less oil changes. So right. that's why I have to save save my money. I cannot afford to drive more than seven thousand miles. And if that goes up, insurance goes up, fuel will go up. Maybe I have to go back to five thousand miles or less. So that's that's what it is. It hurt me too, you know. But they yeah. don't care. They really don't. do. Do you use do you? So now you don't drive that much anymore, right? Right now, no, I, don't, I cannot afford yeah. it. And I, <laughs> you and also, I'm older. I don't want to. But uh, <laughs> I, I had to tie the, the belt a little bit. You know? <laughs> it's the same with going out. Like I no, don't I never go there anyway. But a fast food place. I mean, yeah, a hamburger. Oh, yeah. The in and out hamburger is for that price the best. And I can afford that once in a while. I'm not a meat eater and I, I usually don't go to a fast food place. But uh -huh. once, maybe three or four or five times a year, I go to In and Out and get a hamburger. But I'm not going to go to McDonald's or, or other places where you pay now $15 or $12 for, for an hamburger. The, the, the minimum wage for fast minimum yeah. wage for fast food when. Uh, yeah, and then and then, and then and then yeah, I think they don't see they don't see the picture because the payroll tax also goes because up. Somebody who is a little bit keen and, and then makes yeah, an and then okay. and then everybody but, have to buy a more expensive hamburger. Yeah. So at also, the end of the, 
Yeah, at the end of the day, people, yeah, they needed those jobs because they're not 100% here, you know, and they get $12 and they were willing to pay $12 so he can clean the floor, he can clean the ovens, he can clean the toilets because that guy needs a job too. But if you have to pay $20, they say, we get a better guy for the same price, you know. So Mm -hmm. all those people who are a little bit, "Mm -hmm, yeah, don't have a job. You know, so they get social security or they get Yeah, I, I think at the end of or, at the end of the day the they didn't really get any raise because <laughs> you know, it went to the tax and then yeah, and then everything way. else is expensive. Yeah. And then also the um you know, like like as you can see the a lot of uh, like I don't know, you've been to Taco Bells or some McDonald's already. No, there's no cashier helping you anymore. I, you I know to, another thing. You, you have, have to order computer. yourself now, huh? I'm so against using computers. It's so order. personal, you know. And uh, yesterday I, I went to a, <laughs> to an in, Indian restaurant, and it was looked like a restaurant, tables and everything, you know. So I came in. Right. And uh, he said, to you a little bit early. So, yeah, yeah, a few minutes, four minutes to 11. Open up at 11. I was right. four minutes early. And uh, then he was on the phone, turn on the TVs and everything. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting. Hmm. Sir, can I get something to drink? He said, there's the water. Oh, my I God. Look over to the, yeah, and I said, fill up my own. He said, no, I no ice cubes. No, sir, we don't have ice cubes. <laughs> And so I just walked out the door and I thought, She doesn't want to, is he the owner? No, or I don't want to do with that. And I, oh, yeah, he said, You have to go to the front and you have to order on the computer what you want. I don't want to do this. I want service. I want oh, my walk. God. Goodbye. Goodbye. This, if I have to push my order in, 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 in a computer, they don't have my business. Same with Costco. I sell a Costco card. You know, and uh, usually I get a piece of pizza or something, you know. <laughs> now I have to go on the computer. I cut it out, you know, because I'm not <laughs> going to sit on the computer what I want. There is no personal service anymore. You're just a number, you know, just a, a card number, you know. Oh, here's your foods. You paid for it already. <laughs> here's your foods. It's you know? so true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, not 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 just the one you went to. I I seen a lot of places. Even even the fast food. You order yeah. and then you can't yeah. get anybody's attention. They are all I hiding behind the, the, the kitchen. Perry. They're hiding Perry. behind the kitchen. And yeah. then uh, that doesn't you know it doesn't make sense. And they get what get twenty dollars an hour. <laughs>